Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. My name is Yamisi, and today I want to show you how to make this delicious suya coconut spaghettini. If you're interested, keep watching. For this recipe, you need a few ingredients. We have coconut powder, tomato puree, chicken breasts, green pepper, carrots, ginger garlic, onion, red pepper and some green pepper i'm using golden penny pasta spaghettini today it is like spaghetti but a teeny version <laughs> of spaghetti the first thing we're going to do is to prep the vegetables so i've chopped them into little sizes so that they are all uniform and so that it looks nice in the meal Next, I have some soya pepper and I'll just use that to season the chicken. So this soya pepper already has seasoning in it and it has pepper in it and it just has a bunch of different ingredients, ginger, garlic and all of that. So it's already seasoned and I just rub it on the chicken. Next, I'm going to heat up a pan with some vegetable oil and then we're going to just pan fry this chicken breast. It doesn't take long to cook, fry it for 2 minutes on each side and you should be good. What we want is for the outside to be crispy and for the inside of the chicken breast to be tender. Once the chicken breast cools down, cut it into little sizes. Now in the same pan used to heat the chicken breast, we're going to fry our vegetables. Put everything at once and just stir fry. The aroma of this combination once it is stir frying is just amazing. To season, I'm using some thyme. I'm also using some curry powder and some salt. Now I'm just going to add the tomato puree and then cook it for about 2 minutes. I'll season with some chicken stock powder and then just set it aside. I heated up water in a pot and then once it boiled I put the spaghettini in and then I put some salt to season it and you just allow it cook for a few minutes five minutes maximum and what i also love about this pasta is that it doesn't stick you guys it doesn't once the spaghettini is cooked i'll just drain it and then transfer it to the pan with the vegetables and mix everything till it is properly combined do this step by step so that you don't have more pasta than the sauce I'm adding the chicken soya and this is just going to add a lovely flavor of soya to this dish and I'll add something later which is the final ingredient that is going to seal everything together. final ingredient is coconut powder and you put it at the end so that you don't lose that coconut flavor. I'm just mixing everything together and I tell you this dish was irresistible. You can serve it like this or what I did at the end was I sprinkled some more coconut powder just to make it look very nice and just so that you have more of that coconut flavor. If you try this recipe, let me know. Tag me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and all of that. I would love to see it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.